So we got Tangled coming in. A snuggle bug over here. And the snuggle bug right there, so I lost my seat, it looks like. We have not watched this in years, so it should be good. We or you? Me, apparently you have. <laughs> the work day is almost over. Sarah just got off a client call. I'm just about done with lunch. And I think I did a Disney survey, or I did some kind of survey. And they're like, do you want some free magazines? All you have to do is pay $2. And I was a sucker and I did it. So we got some of those today. Country Living, Fall Edition, Bon Appetit, America's Best New Restaurants, but most excitingly, Travel and Leisure, The Cool of Copenhagen. Can you hear that breathing? That was Eve. That was Eve heavily breathing, like she's so anxious to be in front of the camera. Are you camera shy? Just a little bit. She's sleepy, she needs a nap. Alright, we're going through a little bit of change of a plan before our Friday night festivities begin. Because I don't think we've decided what we're doing yet. But, I gotta deal with something first. Much better. Nice and cleaned up. Feel fresh. I feel like I felt like my hair was making my whole head hot. That's how long my hair was. It was a, it was pretty long. Yeah. And then my hats weren't fitting right. So. Oh, you're cool from the AC in the car. Yeah, but look at this delicious meal Sarah made. Some cheesy chicken. Ooh hoo hoo. Ooh hoo hoo. everybody guess what we just did we just bought my Halloween Horror Nights frequent ah! fear plus pass because we have two of our very best There's friends coming in a lot of dates that you yes can go. and I'm gonna go to at least four that's my goal shooting for four a minimum of three absolute mandatory two but I'm going to the very first night not particularly because it's the first night but two of our very best friends Megan and Katie who, Swish and, who are two of the proprietors of Swish and Flick, Harry Potter podcast, are actually going to be in town and they told me that I could go with them and they invited me to go with them on Friday. So Friday night, I'll be going to Halloween Horror Nights what should with I those do? two. Sarah's going to sleep. No, well, no, She'll figure something out. But Sarah doesn't do Halloween Horror Nights. I do. And Literally, like I just got like a nervous stomachache from thinking about being here. <laughs> Here we are. What are we doing tonight? We're at the boardwalk. You got the door tour. <laughs> we're going, we parked here, but we're seeing what movie they're playing, but remember the Titans is playing at Yacht and Beach Club? So that's where the goal is, because Sarah's gonna get a caramel apple. It's fall, we're gonna watch Remember the Titans, it's fall. I'm gonna go on a run, it's fall. So we're forcing fall into the 88 degree weather that's going on right now. We're getting one of these caramel peanut apples. He's cutting it up for us. We can eat it easy. You can always ask the cast member to do that and they put it in this cute little box. What is your technique? I'm making the most perfect two marshmallows. Another very fall activity, wouldn't you say? Yeah. Tonight's themed Friday in fall. Wow. Ooh, golden. <laughs> Is it hot? This does feel like fall. Ooh, you got a good one. I've never done that. I've always been too impatient. You hit it like that. No, yeah, don't do it. Don't test your luck. Just enjoy. It's going to be a little hot and a little smoky, but delicious. Cheers. <laughs> the one way to get them messing up the camera. Ooh! Was it good? Was it really hot? It's straight liquid. It is such a deliciously beautiful evening out at the Yacht and Beach Club. It's funny, Ben is bringing Matt out to dinner. I think they're doing dinner. I don't know if they're doing dinner or just dessert at Beaches and Cream. It was a surprise for Beth, for Matt. I'm um, throwing away the bag because I got marshmallows on it from our apple. 
But remember, the Titans is gonna play, and we haven't watched it, like sat down and watched that movie in a long time. We are here a little early. The movie doesn't start for 40 minutes. But we've never done the Yacht and Beach Club movie out here. We've done Boardwalk many times, and they're not doing, they're just doing video games. But look at this setup over here. We got Timon and Pumbaa's Safety Smart about fire. And uh, got our apple, which I hope, are we gonna make that apple last until the movie or no? Yeah. Hmm, mm. it's debatable. Mm. But these are our spots. And I got my running clothes in there because I'm gonna go in a little, a little trot after the movie. <laughs> after going to go on a turkey trot? Yeah, that's what they would call this run in Chicago that was on like Thanksgiving weekend, but like out of context, it sounds kind of mean. <laughs> Guess what, they still do the turkey trot, even though we're not there. not to but he is a dedicated person <laughs> you did ask me not to and if I didn't have the clothes here I would have said hey, right, I'm not gonna <laughs> or if I said I was gonna run tonight I'm proud of you though at home I wouldn't have gone we're still fundraising for Peter to yes. do the dopey challenge the link is always in the description of our videos yeah. we have a video coming out soon so, um, do you still have Three full months, three almost four yeah, full lots months. Of fun reason to do an activity. Yeah. Um, I'm running a couple miles tonight, but then I'm gonna try to go on a long run tomorrow morning. That's why I was like, okay, I gotta do it. I'm doing it tonight here at Crescent, at Crescent Lake, and then a longer one tomorrow morning. Get out there eating some delicious Ample Hills cup and cup, whole family. Right you were right here when you decided you were gonna run the dopey. I'm going that way. I'm going this way. Okay, me at the board. board. <laughs> Good luck. Thanks. Love you. Love. Because the International Gateway is right here, I can hear all the Epcot music, and we've been meeting to tell you guys over the weekends. I actually, I don't know if it's Sunday too. I know it's Friday and Saturday, but Epcot is open until 10, and Illuminations is at 10, which never happens. But with food and wine. They're extending the weekend, so hopefully the crowds will be a little bit less crazy. Just like, so crazy that it's open until 10. It's so late for Epcot. I missed it. There's Peter. I decided what I'm going to do. And if it's not too busy, I'm going to sample flavors at Ample Hills. while you were gone. Look at that. No, I tried some Ample Hill samples. You did? No, I just tried one. I tried the milk chocolate cookies. It's game changer because it's chocolate ice cream. Ooh, you love that. Mm-hmm. You ready Let's to go home? Go home. <laughs> blanket is still on. That's probably gonna come down tomorrow. Yeah. Because I think tomorrow or Sunday we're gonna get our room ready. It's been kind of a storage room disaster ever since Matt and Ben moved in. Um, we're starting something new tomorrow. We've been talking about the possibility of doing more live streams and we're going to make it a regular thing yes, on the weekends. On Saturdays. Saturdays to be yeah, that's what we're gonna precise. Shoot for. So you'll already know because the live stream tomorrow morning will have already happened before, before this, this, this vlog up. goes up, yeah. But we're calling it Breakfast with the Brook Cards. And it might be breakfast 10 o'clock at night, 
but it'll probably yeah, usually we're gonna be in the morning. We're trying to do it in the morning on Saturdays, yeah. but if we do it in the evening, then we're just gonna have breakfast for dinner. Yeah. Um, so it'll be nice to have like a set day and a we're Probably we'll gonna be probably, around an hour, yeah. hang out, like a hangout with us. Mm -hmm. And we'll probably tweet the time the night before just so it's not like a surprise. Um, or the Facebook group, so if you're not part of that. Probably all of it. Yeah, Instagram, we'll put it in all the Facebook, different places. And Instagram. But the live streams will take place on YouTube. Mm -hmm. So that's our fun new thing that we're going to yeah. try out. We so like if you didn't to get to today's, if you weren't able to check out today's live stream earlier today, when we're you're watching live. this. Oh, <laughs> I was like, we're live streaming. <laughs> just know next Saturday we're going to go live. And now, since we're doing them on YouTube, they'll be there for you to like, go back to watch. And hopefully mm -hmm. we're going to shoot for only about an hour so that they're not, so if, if you aren't able to do it live, you can come back and hopefully enjoy watching them after. Mm -hmm. And also before we sign off, I think we may have decided on what camera we're getting in the near future. I was doing a lot of detail, Sarah brought it up about one of our favorite stuck in my um, YouTubers doing a review for it a couple months ago. And it's the Canon M50. So if you are a camera aficionado, let us know your thoughts. It's, um, it's 4K, a, right? We'll, we won't be able to shoot in 4K. Okay. But we'll talk details behind that. <laughs> it shoots 4K, but the capability is not good in the 4K. It's only for particular. Like, we won't be able to be out vlogging in 4K. If we're doing a sit down video, cool, we can 4K. It's n what happens when you do 4K. We won't be able to. I won't go into the details. We won't be able to vlog out in the world with 4K, but it's got amazing 1080 and great. Um, digital processor and everything, and it's got an external mic capability. And not crazy, crazy. Expensive. And not crazy expensive. It's gonna. I think like you could get a whole setup with lens and body and mic for about um, seven hundred dollars. So that's amazing for what it's getting. I wish we were getting like a three thousand dollars setup, <laughs> but right now it's not the time to get a three thousand dollars setup. Yeah. So it's like it's like a step between. Yes. Yes. It'll so, do the job. It'll do the job. Certainly and it's still going to be than. super awesome. It's going to be a lot this better. Does the job. And we love this G7X. I don't think we'll ever get rid of this because, it, first of all, it's not. We would never be able to sell it for anything. But <laughs> it's just nostalgic and it still works. So, like, if we're going to be out in the pouring rain, I'd rather pull this out and use this and hope it survives than pull out a brand new $700 camera. Yep. But that's what we're looking to do at maybe, maybe the end of September or October sometime. Um, but we'll at least have a game plan. It's good to be home. It's good to be home. We know what our goals are. We know what we hope to accomplish. And believe me, it's the most exciting and challenging assignment we've ever tackled at Walt Disney Productions. <laughs>